After yesterday's 8-0 win over Wapakoneta in the district semifinals, the Shawnee Indian softball team has now won 10 straight games as they head into tomorrow afternoon's district title tilt against Crosstown rival Bath. In fact, the Wildkins are the last team to beat Shawnee, a 5-0 victory earlier this month. Tribes struggled at times in the Western Buckeye League this season, finishing 4-5, tied for 5th place in the league. But in this postseason, they've already beaten Salina in extra innings, no hit Elida, and then the shutout over Wapakoneta. Of course, those are all WBL teams. So Shawnee is eager for the rematch against Bath with a trip to Bucyrus in the regional tournament on the line. I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait. It'll be fun. I think we're ready. I think that they'll be in for a big surprise. Uh, you come come into the tournaments and if you're a WBL team in this district, the, the reality is you're going to play a lot of the teams that you played during the course of the season. Uh, and, you know, Bath's a, a quality team. Kimmy Reynolds is WBL player of the year. So, you know, we know what to expect when, when we come on Saturday. And, uh, you know, we're going to come out here and do our best. And we said at the beginning of the year that our objective was to be playing better at the end of the year than we were at the beginning of the year. And, you know, we had some hiccups along the way, but uh, I think realistically going into the uh, tournament, you know, we're playing the best softball that we played all year.